When dining out, folks really like an experience. Sometimes the mundane won't cut it. I love doing little line details. The same can be said for Day Barnes' latest piece. That's a pretty big staple and I'd say a lot of my work. Where the little things. White highlights make a difference from a background. So I wanted a little bit of a different texture. Can make a big difference. I'm working on something that's like seven times-ish my size. At the soon to open Black Steer Steakhouse and Saloon on Ben's North End. When you have wall space you need to think about what you're going to do with it to contribute to the overall feeling of the concept. For Steve Weber, the idea was obvious. And I saw that big arch space and I said, that's a big giant Texas Longhorn up there. He just needed an artist. It's kind of like a therapy in a way. It's a good way to get out a lot of emotions in a really peaceful way. So I guess I've just kind of done it for ever, you know? Forever being. Forever being my short 17 year old life. <laughs> I've always loved emerging artists and, I, and I've collected a lot of student art. So the art aficionado, with decades of experience in the restaurant industry, set out to commission the young muralist. He told me that it was going to be the entranceway to a kitchen. I think she imagined it was going to be about a tenth of this size. I had like a moment of Oh. <laughs> and so I thought, well, that may be the end of this deal. But I didn't want to turn it down because it was such a great opportunity. Before pictures help paint the full story. Right now I'm starting to add detail to the actual horns themselves and to the mount itself. Mid-September, the horns took shape. This was so like um, on the fly, but I took a piece of cardboard from the construction that they had to make like a solid size guide. Now with the deadline weeks away. It creates a pretty smooth um, lighting to it. She sees the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh yeah, I mean there's a learning curve to a bigger canvas for sure. I think bigger would, would be good, don't you? Oh yeah, no, there's a lot more room. <laughs> I could definitely make that No, I, I think it's really great. I figured that with kind of the steakhouse vibe, some sort of like twine-ish rope would look a lot better. This isn't some senior portfolio project. When I was younger, I actually did not like ever want to do realism art. I thought it was so boring. And now here I am trying to get this texture just right. It's another brush stroke in what Day hopes will be a long career creating. Totally. I'm very, very stoked that I have this chance right now. In Bend, Steve Kaufman, Central Oregon Daily News.